Hi friends, welcome back for another important talk in medicine that is papillary edema. Papillary edema, the solar optic disc, is something which every doctor is expected to know because it's a life-threatening condition and it always indicates something serious going on in the brain. So, what is papillary edema? Papillary edema is defined as a bilateral swelling of the optic nerve head that is the optic disc due to raised intracranial pressure so whenever we see swelling of the optic nerve head that is the optic disc we can't say it is papillary edema unless it is because of the raised intracranial pressure from any cause like any tumor or any space occupying lesion or due to any pathology in the brain that causes the pressure within the brain to go high. How do the patients with papillary edema present? Most of the times patients with papillary edema present with headaches, vomiting or neurological symptoms like altered consciousness or sensory or motor symptoms and as a part of a routine examination, you examine the fundus and you note that there is a swelling of the optic nerve head. It is important to know this because if you try to do a lumbar puncture in patients who have got papillary edema, can cause sudden death due to herniation of the brain stem due to the lumbar puncture. Sometimes papillary edema can be detected when we do a routine ophthalmic examination and in late stages patients can present with blurring of vision or visual field defects due to optic nerve dysfunction. So what are the signs of papillary edema? When you examine the optic disc you can see there is a blurring of disc margin or the disc margin may be elevated with the obliteration of the cup. The disc may appear hyperemic with torches dilated veins. Sometimes you can see hemorrhages or cotinal spots around the disc and even sometimes loss of spontaneous venous pulsation. Sometimes these spontaneous venous pulsations may be absent in up to 20% of the individuals. In long-standing cases of papillary edema, you can see optociliary shunt vessels which are abnormal blood vessels on the disc and in the later stages you can see the appearance of the disc looking like a champagne cork. What are the important things that we need to look for in a patient who has got papillary edema from ophthalmic point of view? The most important things are look for visual vacuity to see whether the vision is decreased, do a color vision, do a visual field assessment to look for any constriction of the visual field or enlargement of the blind spot, look for pupil reaction, relative and pupillary defect which may suggest compromising optic nerve function always examine the ocular movements to look for involvement of the other cranial nerves which may suggest the particular site for pathology. What are the causes of papillary edema? The most important the most common cause is hypertension especially malignant hypertension, raised intracranial pressure due to space occupying lesion or sigma sinus thrombosis is something which we should always keep in mind and rule out by doing a CT scan or MRI of brain. Idiopathic intracranial hypertension is a diagnosis of exclusion which is very common and should always be kept in mind. As I mentioned Anything that causes intracranial pressure to go high can cause swelling of the optic nerve head like cerebral edema or any pathology like infection or inflammation in the brain. 
sometimes drugs can cause the disc margins to become blurred as in vitamin A toxicity and other medications. Can any ophthalmic conditions cause bilateral optic disc swelling? Yes. Sometimes the optic disc drusens can cause the disc to look swollen. A small disc in a hypermetropic patient can give an appearance of blurring of disc margins. Bilateral anterior ischemic optic neuropathy can cause blurring of bilateral optic discs. So the swelling of the optic nerve heart should always be bilateral to make a diagnosis of papilla edema. What to do when we diagnose papilla edema? It needs an urgent referral to the medics to evaluate to look for a cause. If the patient's general condition is not stable, it needs to be transferred immediately to the care of physicians. Arrange for an urgent CT or MRI brain to look for the etiology. If the CT or MRI scan of the brain is normal, consider doing a lumbar puncture to look for the opening pressure which may be high as in idiopathic intracranial hypertension or it may help to pick up the other causes. Take the help of ophthalmologist in monitoring the vision, pupil, color vision and field of vision. So what is the role of ophthalmologist in management of papilla edema? The most important role is to confirm the diagnosis and the second thing is to monitor the optic nerve function to look for progression. So management of papilla edema basically involves treating the underlying cause and it is a life-threatening condition. We should never miss papilla edema. When we are not sure of the diagnosis, always take the help of ophthalmologist to confirm. In summary, papilla edema can be totally asymptomatic at presentation and visual complaints in a patient with papilla edema is a very late manifestation suggesting optic nerve dysfunction. When we make a diagnosis of papilla edema, it needs an urgent assessment from general health point of view and also monitoring of the optic nerve function are important in long run to preserve the vision. Thank you.